Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind-up. The final installment while I'm the age of 35. That's next week. Uh, it'll be the 10th year in a row that I turn 26. Good times. Uh, not good times, however, for Corey Taylor, frontman for Slipknot and Stone Sour. As undoubtedly you guys have heard, when him and his wife returned home to Iowa, they found $36,000 worth of musical equipment stolen from their home and storage unit. Uh, Corey believes that a friend is responsible for it. A couple of items have already been retrieved, however, uh, there is a, a concern about a couple of guitars that used to belong to former bassist Paul Gray. Of course, he died in May of 2010. So if anybody has any leads, contact the Iowa Police Department. There's only one department up there, contact them. And one of the strangest stories to ever come across the newswire, it seems that not only Blackville Rides, but also Machine Head are taking on uh, some radio station down in the Podunks of Texas. I guess uh, one of their radio personalities was on stage, took a photo of amps that were hollowed out in the back, thus starting up the controversy of do these bands use fake amps? Which, uh, the truth is yes, a lot of bands do that because it gives a bigger stage presence overall. If you had all those amps bumping out sound, you would get a ridiculous amount of feedback. So a lot of it's for aesthetics. It's been going on for years upon years upon years. Uh, not a big fan of BVB. Uh, just don't really dig their music all that much, but I got a side on this one with them because it is kind of ridiculous for someone to try and get a scoop when there's really no scoop there to be had. Well, it almost became a Where Are They Now story, but if you recall, there was a band that, of course, played Rockfest a few years back called Silvertide. They seemed to be on top of the world and definitely going to be making a lot of great music, then they just sort of disappeared. Well, they're back. They're going to be uh, reigniting the entire original lineup and doing a couple shows at the infamous uh, Machine Shop up in Michigan. Uh, tickets for that will go on sale uh, this Saturday. What I think is interesting, though, is that uh, they just literally fell off the face of the map and hopefully they're coming back. I always like those guys in action. Looking forward to more stuff. As I get more details, I'll make sure to fill you in on it. And to close out your weekly rock windup, as you guys already know, the uh, Giant Dare Morning Show turns 20 this year. Unbelievable that uh, the man's been at it as long as he has and the success that he's had. Way to go, man. Uh, high five. Uh, of course, there's going to be a little anniversary bash going on at Riverfront Park next month, the 22nd to the 24th. Everybody from Jackal to Shine Down to Papa Roach, Ugly Kid Joe, and so much more will be in attendance. Uh, tickets are available now. $25 per show, or if you want to get the entire weekend pass, it's just $40. Save you 10 bucks right there on the beers and whatnot. So make sure you get out for that and I'll see you out there for sure. I'm Nibbins. Have a great weekend doing whatever you're doing and peace. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get started. Hat, no hat. Hat, no hat. Let's do hat. Hat, all right. Free bowl of soup with this hat. <laughs>